people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Fair Principal I'm your host Shaheen uh, today's video is uh, an important update and I wanted to uh, post it as soon as possible uh, so today we're going to quick, quickly discuss about gold silver and we look at the, at the stock market as well the US stock market so there is a possibility first of all uh, it's not it's one of the alternating counts you can say and uh, there are warning signals that there is a possibility that this can go on uh, you guys are well aware of my previous analysis that I have been bullish on gold from all this go and we have seen a pretty nice movement over the night as well about thirty dollar uh, increase in the price of gold and we have touched two thousand dollar per ounce and there is uh, just a little bit of price movement downward right now we are trading at 1990 so the update is we are still as far as the longer term trend is concerned uh, let's say the daily time frame is concerned as far as the daily time frame analysis is concerned I'm still uh, bullish on gold nothing has changed in that regard uh, but for I know I'm well aware of the retail traders and I have been asking you guys to uh, use this uh, reference point as a stop loss and if some of you guys are using this one then this is good enough you don't have to worry about it uh, but if some of you guys are using stop losses which are right over here here or here uh, there's a little update because I'm seeing a possibility there is a possibility that we could be uh, completing an expanded flat and if that happens that expanded flat could be really deadly I'm right now outlining that expanded flat which is wave A right over here and this whole uh, could be wave B right over here this whole could be wave B in that case uh, we are looking for some dramatic price action downward now how would we get a confirmation that this is a possibility uh, I'm right now I had a long trade on a smaller time frame and I have exited it because it gave me good uh, good profits right so right now I'm waiting for the price movement myself to give me some clues whether which way the possibility is as far as the trend itself is concerned we can see that this is uh, wave B and in that case if that trend line gets broken this is an indication that we are going to go lower right over here and we can find definitely b b double bottom right over here there is also a possibility uh, that we can actually find ourselves uh, the price target lying somewhere on this part of support right over here so there is a possibility that we can actually find ourselves uh, on this trend line as well uh, for uh, support when prices fall back right over here the one thing that I do not see that I'm not expecting for the prices to go beyond this point right over here so in that case if we can see a B and C in that case the wave count would become impulsive corrective and impulsive and corrective right over here too so we also have this trend line which is going on so this is this trend line is also important which is one two and one two so we gotta keep that in mind and I had this uh, I just observed it now and I thought I would like to share it with you guys so what is uh, what is the point that we can see that the price uh, we can neglect expanded C if price can actually go beyond 2009 right over here in gold this is an important resistance right over so we can if price can cross 2009 2010 and that will be an indication that we have seen the correction uh, and the correction happened right over here and we should continue right over here too so I wanted to bring it to, to you guys if some of you guys are actually uh, keeping the stop loss very close right so let's say somewhere over here and they are really excited about the bullish price movement and they have added on into the long time in the, in the wrong time to their positions then I wanted to point this out we have a similar behavior that's it's a possibility in silver and there is a possibility in silver uh, let me delete this line so you guys can see it and there's a possibility once again that we could be seeing wave A right over here and we have ABC ABC which is a flat correction another ABC and uh, this considered being wave B in, in terms of expanded flat wave B uh, can be really really messy in that regard we can actually see the pullback all the way right over here too uh, we'll get the confirmation of this pullback when this uh, support line that's actually uh, covering the wave B line is gets broken right over here there's also another possible uh, trend line on a smaller time frame and that we can actually look for the last leg of 
uh, wave B. This is the last leg of wave B and we can simply draw a trend line right over here too and we can see right now that uh, a break below this would be uh, an aggressive price movement could bring an aggressive price movement downward too. So you got to keep this thing in mind. Uh, as far as the resistance itself is concerned uh, that when would we be sure in silver that we actually can uh, omit the chance of uh, prices coming back in that case the uh, we are already trading close to this resistance so we can use this resistance right over here too if price can actually cross this area and this right over here it's a bit farther than gold it is but if price can cross that area that will be indication that for now uh, the correction was complete right over here too and we should ignore wave A, B and C. Uh, these expanded flats are very very deadly patterns I wanted to bring uh, bring it into your consideration uh, so that you guys have are at least well aware of it how do you guys want to trade this trade this information is up to you and uh, I'm not gonna comment on that similarly we are seeing uh, Dow Jones right over here too uh, this is Dow Jones and then the S&P 500 and then we have um, Nasdaq 100 so could there be a possibility that the correction that we are expecting first of all I did tell you guys that we are seeing one two and one two could that be a possibility that the correction that actually started right from over here is yet not complete so be really careful uh, because the price is not decided move the, when the price is fall below uh, 34 112 and this support line gets broken that will be the indication that the correction is complete right over here too so be really careful uh, because there is a chance I'm still bearish on a daily time frame that's why the smaller time frame 15 minute time frame uh, or an hourly time frame analysis uh, or trading is not advisable because you tend to miss the larger price behavior so I'm still bearish on uh, on the stock market in uh, US stock market but the question right remains right over here is that the correction that actually started right over here is that complete or is it still going on in that regard we have uh, this horizontal support and the diagonal support both combined um, when broken would give us an indication that we are going further down in uh, in stock market we can draw a similar be, uh, um, uh, analysis for S&P 500 right over here too because just in case if we are seeing um, an AB fee in that regard it's more clear right over here in S&P we can see yeah, that could be a possibility that we have this we can consider this has a whole impulsive price movement and this has wave A and this once again is wave B in that regard we should be looking for a, a wave C right over here once again forming an expanded flat uh, once again these patterns are very very deadly so you guys can uh, use uh, some sort of your own uh, proprietary analysis you guys ha uh, have that so uh, as far as uh, clear declaration is concerned that when we would be sure that uh, I think we should wait for one more day uh, to give us a bearish signal because right now if that happens if that pull up happens and uh, then it will be very deadly for a smaller time frame type time frame trader so I wanted to bring it to you, your attention uh, as far as the whole analysis is concerned daily uh, price action concern I'm strongly bearish in the stock market S&P 500 Nasdaq 100 and um, Dow Jones 30 uh, I'm clearly clearly bearish on all of these things I was more concerned with the uh, gold and silver because that could be really deadly wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye